Welcome back to video three of four that I'm filming in this spot. Let's go. Um, hi there, I'm Francis if you're new here. So these are everything that I traded for at the GoPrint Pro Figment Guy Fantastic Pins for You trading event that I kept. So the way that I kind of did it at a table for the first time is if you were trading me and you had something that I liked but it wasn't something that I wanted to keep, I was trying not to turn away everyone. I was trying to be like, I'm very particular, I like Stitch or like Figment, I like Muppets. So, not what a lot of people have. So, um, if it was something that I liked, or something that I could like figure out a trade for, but it wasn't something I wanted to keep, I just like put it back on my books to see if someone else wanted to trade, and potentially I could trade that pin for something that I liked. I didn't keep track of those, so if it like went back in my books, I did not keep track of them. I only kept track of the things that I like wanted to keep. So, they all immediately fit in this little bag. So, this one is, LE of 700 Frontierland Disneyland Paris pin and it's goofy and you're like well Francis you don't collect goofy I don't but I will make it to Phantom Manor at some point in time in my life because it's all about Constance and I love Constance but this one has Madeline I love the Haunted Mansion but Constance is my girl so they wanted something of mine that was like roughly the same price so I figured I would do that one um do I have this one no, I had Germany and I traded Germany. So I kept, I guess I'm keeping the United States. I don't know. Uh, this is Figment. This is an older pin. This is Figment with an American flag. They did one for each country um, in the World Showcase. I want to say this is LE and old. No, it's just old. 2004. It's a harder to find set. They're like $40 to $50 pin. So I traded this with someone. I don't remember who I traded what with, but there's that. I traded away mine of this because I'm stupid. So now I needed to trade back for it. So this is the D23 Figment. This is LE of 1500. Now I have another one. That was dumb and traded mine. Um, I was trying to find again comparable things. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. I did set this aside. I might change it in a bit. This is Disneyland Paris, uh, Big Thunder Mountain. I don't know, I have some Big Thunder Mountain pins. It's not like a full collection. It's just like random ones. So this is just mini. It's a goat, right? Mini with a goat. Disneyland Paris. This one might be my favorite trade of the day. So someone pulled this off of the board. This is Ellie of 999. It's AP, but it says our wedding day. Um, for those of you who don't know, I took wedding photos at the Haunted Mansion. Um, my favorite ghost is Constance, which concerns my husband slightly. But I saw this and I really wanted it and we were able to trade. So it says our wedding day. Again, it's AP. The hinge pen is Constance and one of her husbands. I actually don't know all of her husband's names. So I guess this is Ambrose. He actually has his head, so that's nice. This is Constance and Ambrose, and now I kind of want the whole set if there's more, because I'm assuming, I'm assuming there's one with Oliver Husband that might take the cake for my favorite trade. I also traded away this pin, so now I have it again. Because I'm stupid and was like, I don't want Dream Finder. I do. I want this pin. So I tried it back for it. So, yay. It's a D23 pin. Someone really, 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 really wanted a high school musical pin that I had. No. Wizards of Waverly Place. And if you don't know anything, the Disney Channel pins go for stupid amounts of money. I think it's just millennial nostalgia at this point. So I was able to find this Merida pin. I don't know if I want it, but I set it aside because I was like, mm, we'll think about it. This was an AP off the board, but this came from D23 two years ago. Not this past one, but two years ago. So this is LE of 300. I actually had the Scrooge McDuck companion of this version of this. Uh, I pulled it off the board last year. So this is Merida, Ellie of 300. This Mary Stitchmas pin is from Disneyland, Paris. Someone wanted a trade and I saw this one, so I kept it. Another Disneyland Paris pin. This is just says Paris, Je t'aime Paris, Disneyland Paris, Minnie Mouse. This Disney Auctions Stitch pin. I don't know. We know I collect Stitch. I don't know what the LE is on this. I don't even look. It's a thousand. Most auctions pins I feel like are a thousand, so I don't know why I look, but I feel like something's gonna be like 500 and surprise me one time. So there's that. Oh, I traded this in line, so I don't know if this counts, but I needed the figment bean from that set. If you watched that video already, so now I have it. I traded a hat box ghost because I had like 12 of those. Uh, this is a Disney employee center. It says disaster service worker. It's like a name tag pen. It's older. 
I like how it says eight on the back and I think the trade value for this is like $150. Love that for me. I think it's like, it's WDI, so I'm gonna assume the LE is 250. Do I have this pen and I got it again? I don't see this pen, so I don't think I have it. So it's the WDI Tinkerbell candy cane pen. I have a weird like movie live action version and I actually want the Orlando Bloom. Oh no, I have the Orlando Bloom, but I need the Kira Knightley one of this or Elizabeth Swan. Um, but this one is Barbosa. No, Davy Jones. Davy Jones. I thought it was cool. And you don't see these a lot. So I was like, why not? We'll add to my Pirates collection. Oh, someone had this and I didn't want to buy bags for it because I just wanted this one. So this is the Coda plush. So I have that. Do I have Rizzo? We're gonna find out. Do I have this for sale? Ooh, 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 ooh! He might have been a mystery and I might not have had him. We'll have to go up because the Vinylmation ones, I've like had them in a trunk and then I found like two random ones and I traded with someone. Haha, -ha, I do not have Rizzo the rat. Yes! Okay, someone had this. And I was like, I don't know if I have Rizzo and it's really hard to get these because these are like an older set. So I don't think I have Rizzo, so good on me. Uh, this was the bottom of the castle for the mystery pin. Again, I traded for this. Someone needed my clock um, because I didn't get this one. And I actually wanted the one that said like the pin event because I don't know. No, the welcome gift. One of them actually does say it and I'm keeping it because it says figment on it. Um, the other one doesn't. So I needed something that said the pin event because I have one every year from like the pin events I've gone to regardless of the character. But I try to keep them with like characters that I like. Oh, this is another one. Um, I didn't buy this set. I just wanted the Mickey waffle, but someone was like wanted to trade within the set or not within the set, but like they were willing to trade out of the set and they wanted something of mine. So I have a Mickey waffle pin. Um, I don't know if I said Belle is one of my favorite princesses other than Merida. So I have like a handful of Belle pins, but I like this one cause she's reading and I've just been in my reading era. So I traded for this one cause I never got a chance to get it from Disney Studios or Hollywood, nor have I like traded it, had the opportunity to. This is a Disney Cruise Line pin and I keep trying to get this pin and like no one has been able to get it for me. So someone had it for trade. This thing probably retails for like $12, but they had it for 40 for trade and I was just like, whatever, I want the pin. So I guess we're gonna find a $40 trade for it, but it's Stitch as a Pirate on Disney Cruise Line. And I have a backpack that matches this. I haven't used it, but like I have, it. I have problems. Uh, another Stitch one. This is just Stitch's Maleficent. This is from a recent-ish, like, open edition um, Disneyland Paris release. I have a lot of the Disneyland Paris Stitch pins. I just haven't done a pickup since this one got released. I tried to bunch them if I'm gonna, like, ship from Paris because it's gonna cost me $20. So, like, I really reach out to my person and I'm like, can I have, like, 20 pins? Because I don't want to do, like, one here, one here, and then still have to pay a certain amount of shipping. So I just hadn't done it recently. That's why I got this one. Like I'm justifying my pin trades to you, like y'all need to know why. Maybe I'm just justifying them for myself. This one was another one, but we all know that Lilo and Stitch is one of my favorite movies. And I have some stuff from the 20th anniversary because I was like down here and like more actively pin trading, but I don't think it was like actively pin trading when the 15th anniversary of this movie came out. And again, you can see the value that they had for this. So I ended up trading for a Lilo and Stitch pin. This one I traded for in line. And while I don't like Chip and Dale, I just like how this is a 3D pin. And I just thought it was so cool. So this is Haunted Mansion, but it's like 3D. I don't know, I thought it was cool. I traded this in line at the event, so I probably shouldn't count this at like that I got it at Richard's event, but it was in my like keeper bag. So here we are. I have another Disney auctions. This one stitches the chef. I don't know, I thought it was cool. Uh, traded this for someone else because this is going for a stupid amount of money. So I was just like, I'm not actually keeping it, but I set it aside because I knew I already have this pin that I wanted to potentially trade this or sell this for something better. So I set it aside so it didn't get jumbled up in like my regular traders. Uh, another Disney auctions pin because this is just like this. Aha, 500. There you go. It's sad ish stitch with a book. Disney auctions. LE 500. Another one, this is Walt Disney Imagineering. This is a Stitch Christmas tree pin, LE of 300. Only a couple more to go. 
This is membership magic. Someone had this. I don't have this vacation club pin, but my parents are vacation club members, so I just traded it for like an OE pin. And you never know what kind of figment you may come up with. Oh, here's my favorite.